Here is yet another example of cognitive dissonance when it comes to One Piece stars. They will be spending hours upon hours trying to rationalize all the bullshit in the show with science, facts and logic, and then they will turn around and say something like this. He's able to utilize attacks like Red Hawk, where he generates such speed and force, causing the friction to burn his fist in fire. Oh really? Is that how it works? Well, if that's true, then how did Luffy manage to use it underwater? Now, we don't need to really overthink this as, you know, this is One Piece and anything really can happen in this universe, but there is a simple answer, which is imagination. Yes, as crazy as it sounds, Luffy thought that such an attack like that was possible and thanks to his belief, the effects of this power becomes reality. What the shit is the point in trying to reason everything that happens and constantly bringing up instances such as this panel we see here is how Gear 5 was foreshadowed since chapter 1 or how this panel we see Oda letting us know what would happen 25 years later when everything comes down to the power of imagination. If you can imagine something and it happens, it doesn't need foreshadowing, it doesn't need build-up, it doesn't need scientific explanations or evidence that prove its existence. It just happens instantly whenever you feel like it, without any preparation or explanation. Every One Piece star knows that and openly admits it. Yet they don't settle for this answer and spend an unhealthy amount of time in trying to find some panel that somehow rationalizes all the bullshit that keeps happening because of imagination. It contradicts their own claims and the more they try to sound smart by finding all the proof and all the foreshadowing, the more stupid they come off instead. And when you point out the obvious stupidity so they will stop doing it, they just reply with something dumb like You weren't paying attention, no days ago, god, he foreshadowed everything since chapter 1! And that's why I proved with scientific evidence that was foreshadowed ever since the very first theory video about One Piece was out that if you are trying to excuse everything that happens in One Piece, you are without a doubt freaking stupid.